Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and I am driving to work. It's almost 9 o'clock and uh, it's finally a nice beautiful day out here. We're finally getting good weather here in New York and I uh, figured I'd talk to you guys as I'm driving to work and what is on the agenda for today. Um, let me know if you guys think this is a good idea. I was tempted to do maybe a daily vlog um, or maybe an every other day sort of a vlog and just kind of talk about what's going on at the shop and uh, what we're working on. Uh, so if you guys have been following my site, we're working on that 1966 uh, sedan uh, metal sunroof. I just put together the, uh, I shot all the video, so to speak, of how to install the, uh, the sunroof headliner. Um, and uh, I have to edit that together. That's gonna be a multi-part series, of course. Uh, so that does take some time. And I'm kind of a one-man shop where I'm doing all the, elect uh, the, uh, the internet stuff and uh, emails and uh, the books and my taxes and you know daily schedules and things like that and at the same time working on the cars so it's time to trade off it's, it's hard to trade off there uh, my father's not much of a tech guy so he pretty much does hands-on with the cars um, but yeah we're working on that car and then we're also working on that 56 uh, oval sunroof uh, ragtop beetle and uh, one thing I want to say about the oval sunroofs and uh, you know, I never thought it would really come to this point uh, well I guess I've, you know it's gonna come to it as time goes on but those oval rag tops are becoming tough to find guys I mean you can look on eBay you can look on the Samba you can look on the Facebook groups now and uh, they're out there but god they're bastardized they are they're cut up they're non-matching um, the 55 and earlier, which is like the real sweet spot that I like, God, I don't know. It's, it's becoming harder and harder to find good ones, uh, if any at all. I mean, uh, you know, they used to pop up a few times a year for me. Um, and I, I sold my, uh, my 54, uh, ragtop last year, um, and last summer actually. And I'm telling you, I, I said to my dad, I was like, we may never find one like that again. Uh, I mean, I'm, I know they're out there, um, but it's just, it's be becoming harder and harder to find. Uh, you know, people know that they have value. Uh, so, you know, if they can get their hands on them quick, they do, and they're pretty much, they're snatched up if they're priced right. Uh, so 55 ragtop that I restored last year, I'm sorry, 54 ragtop, and uh, you know, awesome car. I, I kind of miss it. <laughs> Because I don't know, you know, again, will, you, will, will I be able to find it? I don't know. Um, but I do love my 70 convertible that I have right now. I've been driving that. Uh, I never thought I'd get into those years, uh, so to speak, uh, yet. Uh, but they are, come on, they're coming up into 50-year mark. So uh, I think they're going to start moving in value. And pretty much they're going to be what's left on the market that's uh, numbers matching and maybe not so bastardized because they're newer. You know, um, the earlier cars, the 60s, 67 and earlier, you know, they're still very popular and valuable. So, so anyways, getting back to the 56 ragtop that I'm working on for my client, uh, uh, Mike. Uh, been a long time on that car. Unfortunately, we had some, uh, it, a lot of people know, but painters can be problematic. And for 10 years, I've been dealing with painters that uh, just inconsistent. We got some good guys right now, um, and they, they seem to be working out. But you know, in the beginning, they sound very eager to do to work on the cars. They see the following that I have online, the global following, and they they they're inspired to do the restoration work on the cars. We don't do the heavy metal and body work in my shop. We're not zoned for it where my shop is, so I do job that out. You know, we will do floor pans, we'll do some uh, metal work in our shop, but the, the real finesse work is done at the body shop. And many times I drop those cars off, and what happens? Uh, you know, they get them done in the first couple months, the first few cars that I give them, and then what happens after is the next car that I give them, they have it for six months, they have it for eight months, they have it for a year. Um, we had one shop that had one of my cars for 18 months and no matter how much I pounded the pavement and called them and, and said hey what's going on it's just what the car was not getting done you hate to pull the car out 
and then bring it to another body shop. I've done that before. And then that new body shop does not like the work that the last body shop did. And then they say, I want to redo this and that. And it's, it's a whole other BS, you know. Uh, it, it's, it's a lot of, they feel competition within themselves half the time, these guys. So uh, I try to stick it out with the guy and then I just basically say to myself, I won't give him another one after this, I'll try to find someone else. And that's a whole other ordeal as well. I probably hit almost every painter in this county where I live, uh, in, in Rockland or where my shop is operating. And most of the uh, shops just do not want to work on these cars. I think they realize that it's a lot of work, it's a lot of time, and in the end, they'd rather do a bumper on an Escalade uh, that they can get paid for top dollar and have it done in two, three days than having a bug that's sitting in the shop uh, gonna basically be charging almost the same amount of money but it's stretched on for months. Now, I don't know where I'm going wrong with it because I'm gutting the car, it's media blasted. I get every sheet metal imaginable for the car to be patched up. Um, I, you know, it's just an issue that we run into from time to time. So with Mike's car, that's kind of the issue we ran into, unfortunately, and uh, it's been stretching these, uh, this restoration now, and I can't stand when that takes that long, because, uh, you know, time is money in the end. So, uh, but it's coming out very nice. I mean, we were able to uh, get everything all worked out with that, and the car's coming along. So Bill's 66 sunroof, we're wrapping up, and then uh, Mike's 56 ragtop should be done. Um, I'm hoping by June. So uh, keep an eye on that and uh, let me know what you guys think. All the imagery and the, uh, the pictures are on my website. Just go to my build a bug section and you'll see every bug that we're working on has a photo gallery, a slideshow gallery. I also have videos in there and updates of the videos. So um, really cool that um, uh, I can work on these cars. This is a passion that I do day in and day out. Uh, people ask me you know, how long have I actually been doing this I, I can't believe I'm going on like probably 12 years now <laughs> it's, it's just insane uh, I started this off as a little hobby on eBay and um, buying and selling and flipping on there and utilizing my filmmaking background to showcase these cars and then it just basically took off from there using eBay's traffic it's a funnel to my website got a newsletter you sign up for the newsletter which I don't actually do anymore because I feel uh, there's so many other outlets on the internet uh, that I'm showcasing um, our work and, and talking about things that that seem to be the, the, the weak link out of the five outlets that I'm uploading to or uh, uh, posting online. So I just can't believe 12 years I've been doing this. It's uh, work with my dad. It's a wonderful thing uh, to, to be able to work with you know your dad and, and fix these cars and go to car shows, show them off and um, you know I, I make my own hours and you know, I, I, I work when I want to work and, you know, there's days I, I take off. Uh, I pretty much do work, I'd have to say, six days a week, at least five and a half. Um, so I rarely take off, uh, but it doesn't feel like work. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a cool passion and it's, it's a cool time to just, I'm working on toys. You know, how cool is that? I'm working on toys uh, and, you know, being able to, you know, get them out in the sun and drive them is is one of the best feelings uh, you can ever you can never have, um, especially when in New York when the weather is just absolute crap for at least six months. Uh, you're indoors and you really don't take these cars out uh, from basically November, December, January, February, March, April. April's even still crap. Uh, Mid May we're finally getting good weather now. Uh, you know. It's uh, a very short time you have, so when you do have good weather, it's so refreshing to get the cars out and drive them. Um, and that's what we're doing tonight. Tonight is the like one of the premier nights up in Bear Mountain, New York. Uh, and they, every Wednesday night, Bear Mountain has a car show, and it's a beautiful grassy field. And uh, so we're gonna do that. We usually uh, meet at the shop, and we kind of convoy up with other Volkswagens. Uh, to this car show. Sometimes you get up to about 1,500 cars at that car show. It's a spectacular uh, car show. And uh, it's on a nice grassy field. The scenery is beautiful. Got the Bear Mountain Bridge there. And then afterwards, we go get some dinner. Uh, it's always a, a great thing. And I got to say one thing with this business, I have probably met some of the best people 
the best mentors, the best friends that I've ever met in my whole life. Uh, and uh, most of them are they're older than they're older than me. Um, my best man, uh, Lucky Larry, that you guys have seen in my past videos, um, he was my best man at my wedding last August. Uh, I just the guy is phenomenal. And uh, my other mentors like Vince Vespi and Herman Shower and my good man Ramsey that helps us out at the shop. Uh, it's just a just a wonderful thing. Um, and of course my dad. I mean he's like my best pal. So uh, I figured I'd do this vlog. Uh, people have been asking me to do this, maybe a more of a daily routine sort of thing. I can film these while I'm driving in and kind of kill some time and talk to you guys and, and talk about, you know, what I did yesterday or what we're going to do today. S let me know if this is something you guys want to see on a routine basis. I can do this. Uh, just turn my Google Pixel phone and face myself and <laughs> drive on, on the way in. So uh, maybe one day we can even do a live session. That might be cool. Uh, but I just got to my shop. I'm ready to get to work. It is... 9.07, I'm actually a little late, but uh, before we get to work, it's time for a cappuccino. Thank God I got that Nespresso machine, and I love grass-fed, heavy cream, froth in that baby, and it's just uh, a little bit of goodness. So, All right, guys, uh, Chris from ClassicVWBugs.com, and uh, if you want to chat me or leave a message in the, um, the comment section below, I'd love to hear your thoughts on a vlog. Um, maybe a daily sort of routine thing and um, see where we go from there. All right, guys. Take care. Um.